<laughs> oh my fucking god. It's Katie. <clears throat> What's up, guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, so, as you know, there's no dupe glitches out right now or anything. So, it's just... Um, <clears throat> Just some cool, you know, random clothing glitches and stuff that I'm going to be showing you for the next few days. Um, and sorry I haven't posted anything for a couple days. Um, but today I'm going to be showing you how to get the uh, ripped t-shirt and sleeves and invisible arms. Uh, so we will start with the invisible arms. So the first thing you want to do is make your way to a clothing store. Uh, some of you may already have the shirt required to do this, um, but if not, go to the clothing store, which is where we're gonna go because I actually forgot I don't have it on this character. Um, <clears throat> yes, and I'm playing on my second character, which is male. I don't want anybody to get confused. I am a female, but I do have a male character. Okay, so. Oh. Do I have a... Uh... Oh, look. They all have custom plates on them. Which means I'm good to sell some cars. All right. Uh, I totally forgot I had a second character with cars. But anyway. Uh... <clears throat> so yeah, like I was saying, make your way to the clothing store. Which one's closest? Ah, oh, right up the street. Okay, so we're gonna go right oh, right up the street to the clothing store. to buy the oh it's not gonna let me buy it because I have the wrong kind of shirt on <sighs> how about this all right yeah okay so you want to buy this one the QB Navy sweater vest um, we're starting with the invisible arms, um, which actually does also work for the female character. Um, however, the ripped shirt does not, which is why I'm doing this on the male character. So I can show you both of these glitches, like one right after the other. Um, they actually require this step here. Um, so if you wanted the ripped shirt, you just follow this tutorial. You'll see, you'll see. Um, so you buy this shirt. And then we're gonna, are they black joggers? Do I have the black joggers on? I do. All right. All right. So we're going to get, oops, we're going to get rid of this mask and stuff. Uh, none. What else do I have on? Okay. That's it. All right. So after that, you want to save the outfit. I know it doesn't look good with my yellow shoes, but whatever. <clears throat> I'll change those later. All right, so I'm just gonna save this as vest. Okay, and then make sure you also have the uh, um, the heist overalls um, or the heist coveralls. I'm sorry. You need one with the. Uh, the gas mask thingy on um so any one of these yep the bottom the last four any one of these you can have any one of these so i'm just gonna buy the white one all right so now from here like i said some of you might already have those two things if you do you're good to go with uh starting from this step here but if not <clears throat> then you need to uh go buy those two items uh 
So then you want to make your way over to the telescope, which you can access either in the, uh, you know, your CEO office or your apartment. Um, my CEO office is closer, so I'm just going there. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna enter the office. Um, I know most of you know the uh, the the gas mask glitch with the telescope, um, but for those of you who don't, I'm gonna explain it to you right now. Um, so what you want to do is uh, you see how the telescope is in front of me. You want to run to it at an angle and quickly push right on the D-pad, and then spam the down button that um because you don't actually want to look through the telescope so if you just spam down it'll remove your mask like it did you see my mask is gone um, and then what you want to do is you want to go to style and actually put that outfit on the vest outfit that we just saved so you put that outfit on and then when you walk away from the telescope boom you see the gl the gas mask transferred so then from here what you want to do <clears throat> is save this um, right over the one you just saved. So we're just going to save it right over the vest. All right. So we're good from there. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to open your phone. <clears throat> and you want to click over to the left, uh, the quick jobs, and you want to go down and, uh, join a random capture. Sometimes it doesn't put you in a capture, which is fine. You just... It should still work either way. <clears throat> so you see, we're looking for a job. <sighs> if the screen pops up, that this one, exactly, right here. No active capture found. Would you like to host or search for any job? Just search for any job. Um, so now we're just going to wait for it to load us in a session. There we go. It, it can take longer than that. Um, it doesn't necessarily, uh, always, oh, these people are going to be pissed because after this starts, I have to back out and it sent me into a heist, which, yeah, these people might be a little mad when I, uh, leave, but I don't know why it put me in a heist setup doesn't it, it's never done that to me before um but yeah we'll just wait for this host to uh start this up if he ever starts it up <clears throat> there we go launching session all right so you actually want them to load the session so you see he's launching the session, and then once we're in there, uh, yes, I'm ready, let's go. <clears throat> oh. This dude better ready up in, in, like, this, okay, good. <laughs> Uh, he saw the timer at the bottom, right? Four minutes and 41 seconds. Like, he, I was really hoping he readied up before that. I was not about to sit here for no five minutes waiting. All right, so once the job starts up, what you want to do is open your phone. Click on the little center square. You see we're in a heist or setup, whatever. And then you want to press X if you're on PlayStation. And I believe it's square if you're on, I mean, X if you're on Xbox and square if you're on PlayStation. And are you sure the heist will fail for the entire crew? Are you sure? Yes, sorry, I don't know you people. Uh, I really apologize if any of you are watching this. Um, I wasn't planning on getting put into your heist setup for that, um, but my sincere apologies, guys. Um, so, now we just wait for it to load us back in and when we load in we should not have the gas mask on 
um, which is actually part of this glitch, uh, Uh, <clears throat> All right, we should be going into a session in a second because now it actually says loading. It wasn't just like a blank screen over there. Sorry guys, I know this has taken a, a little bit. <clears throat> there we go. Alright, so it's loading us in, and like I said, we should not have the gas mask on. Right, okay. So then from here, what you want to do is actually go to your style and put that outfit on. Back with the gas mask. Okay, <clears throat> and then what you want to do is you want to start up a titan of a job so you go to uh, online jobs play job rockstar created missions a titan of a job and when you actually load into this you should have invisible arms all right so we're gonna host this because I mean it doesn't really matter if we're in here by ourselves or not the only thing we're gonna do is run over to the ammunition and save that so we're going to play. I'm not going to buy no ammo or armor or anything. Because like I said, we're not actually playing this mission. Um, <clears throat> so we launched in. And you see I have no arms. No arms. I have hands. Yay. Woo -woo. Okay. So like I said, ammunition is like the only thing that you can get into to save the outfit. Closest one from where I spawned is this one right down here. So, I don't know why I marked it on the map. I know how to get there, but whatever. Um, I guess it was just so you guys could see which one was closest. Not like it matters, because you guys probably won't even spawn in the same spot. Um, you just go to the nearest ammunition, like I said. Hello. Almost there. Ooh. -woo. Oh, oh, pole. All right, so we are here. Invisible arms, yay! And then you want to come over here. Just browse the tops, edit saved outfits, and save over the vest one again. Uh. So there you have it. I have invisible arms. So then what you want to do is just back out of here. Uh, <clears throat> I should really check and see who's calling and texting me. It's Kayla Panda texting me. She wasn't the one who called, but she is the one who texted. So I'm going to have to answer that. Yes, guys, Kayla Panda, she's a friend of mine. Um, if you're watching this, you should check out her channel too. Um, she posts some pretty funny videos. Um, one of them is... Uh, actually called stripper and a faggio which i mean i don't know about you but i actually thought that was kind of funny okay so i spawn back in and you see my arms are here um so huh that's odd it's not actually sticking with with this character, but it's stuck on my female character. 
That's pretty weird. Um, but uh, yeah, okay, so I don't know why that's not sticking because I have invisible arms on my other character. Huh. But anyway, from here, um, to get the ripped, um, t-shirt, uh, go to a clothing store. Where's the closest one? Oh, yeah. Right over here. Damn. Alright, so from here what you want to do is you want to buy, if you don't already have it, <clears throat> buy a vest shirt. It's not going to let me buy any. Ugh. Alright, so we'll just buy this one and then we'll buy the vest shirts. gotta be the I am wearing a vest what do you mean it's gotta be one of the band one of the band shirt you must be wearing a vest to view this item I am wearing a vest pink will the pink one work are you gonna there we go all right so we have yellow white yellow red pink and black i'm gonna buy all of them all right so from there put your vest outfit back on i still need to figure out why my arms are showing back up i don't understand anyway um What you want to do is go, uh, I keep forgetting I can't run in here. Uh, go back to, we'll go to my apartment this time because my apartment's closer. So... Go back to any closet that you have, um, your own personal closet. So I'm gonna go to my apartment for this. To the apartment we go. Alright, and then we're just gonna run down here. Do -do -do -do. Run down to the closet. Go to tops. Best shirts. And put any... What the hell? All right, maybe we have to put the outfit on first because for some reason. All right, now we'll go to tops and we'll go to black. Oh my God. There we go. Just put one of the, the band shirts on. I personally like, see the black one, you can't really see anything. So I personally like the red one. So I'm going to put the red one on. And then I'm going to have to go change my shoes. Do I have red shoes? Uh, 
Okay. Purple, orange, black. Oh, I got checkered shoes. They look kind of cool. So maybe, maybe I'll change it to the white one. Ooh. Ah. Put the vest back on. Go to tops. Nice. We're gonna put the white one on. Bam. The white one. With the checkered shoes. Yeah. And then you just save this as an outfit. Um, We're just gonna save it over the vest again. But this time we're gonna change it to rip. That way I know it's the ripped shirt. There we go. And that's how uh, it, it stuck. The, the invisible arm stuck with my female character. I don't know why it's not sticking with this one. Um, but this is how you get this really cool ripped looking shirt. And yeah, that's it. So um, if you enjoyed the video, please click the like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, that's it.